just came back from running a bunch of errands um i went shopping and then i went and i got some smoothies and some more groceries so i am gonna cook and i'm gonna show you guys this is my outfit of the day do you guys like my outfit i'm wearing this top from victoria's secret and then i'm wearing um this bra from skims and then i'm wearing chrome hearts leggings and then i'm wearing chanel purse do you guys like it Okay, dokie, I'm gonna give you guys a haul of everything I got. I went to Chrome Hearts again. Um, I'm gonna show you what I got. I got this super cute, like, I think this is like for boys, but I just got it for myself. I got this, like, top and this sleeve, um, just like the basic top that says Los Angeles. Um, I got this for my friend's little brother for his birthday and it looks so cute like I went and I got one for myself and I got it in a medium because I like it to be like a little bit more oversized yeah <laughs> I accidentally just like cut my finger Ow. okay anyways um so I went to like the sex store today um, to get a new dildo because a lot of people have been requesting um, DP on my OF and yeah and I like lost all of my toys well I left the majority of them back in my house in Toronto so I had to go shopping for more dildos um, so I did that today I went to like I just searched up the closest sex store like to my house and um, I just went to like the nearest one and it was like for like specifically for like gay guys like it was like a sex store for like gay guys and so like all, all of the strap all of the dildos were like strap-ons so um I just needed like a regular like dildo like not a strap-on like dildo um so but luckily there was one they, there was one dildo that wasn't a strap-on so that's the one I got. However, um, it's not normally the size I prefer. I prefer like five inches and I like, I don't want it like too, too girthy. I don't like it when it's like super, super girthy, but literally all the dildos in that store were like super, super girthy. Um, so I don't know. I think I, I think I got a good one, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make some DP videos later today, so, yeah. Sometimes I can never tell if people, like, actually fuck with my music or if they just want to fuck me. <laughs> like, I just feel like sometimes, like, um, these boys, like, they're like, yeah, your music's good, like, um, but I don't know if it's just because they want to fuck me, I don't know. <laughs> There's this hummus that I always get at Irwan and it's so 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 delicious. It's like so 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 yummy. Um but it has salt in it and like I don't know, I just react really badly to salt. So I am gonna make my own hummus um that's similar to the Irwan recipe, except it just doesn't have any salt. So I have my tahini. <laughs> okay, okay, and then I have my chickpeas. Um, and these ones don't have any salt in it. It's just um, chickpeas and water and kombu seed. So yeah, no, no salt in it. Can opener. Last time I didn't have a can opener. This time I have a can opener. Okay. And I'm just gonna open it up. Oy vey. Oh. I love opening cans. Mm -hmm. It's just like so satisfying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Okay, I actually 
actually have um, the Irwan hummus in my fridge um, and it says all of the ingredients. So I'm just going to copy all the ingredients. So it's um, chickpeas, tahini, lemon juice. Okay, I don't have like half of the ingredients that are on here, but I'm going to use all the ingredients that I do have on this list. Okay, so um, this time using my blender, so I'm really excited. I'm gonna just take my organic chickpeas and put it in the cup. Mm -hmm. okay. Next, I'm gonna add the tahini. Now, I'm gonna add my spices um, garlic powder. Just a little. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to um, make it like, like, you know, like creamy and smooth. I'm gonna close the blender. Okie dokie, now I'm gonna blend up my hummus. Okay, the hummus is all done. Oh my god, it smells so good. Like, guys, I think this is actually, like, gonna be the first time I, like, made something on this channel and it's, like, successful. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little taste test. Okay, it's a little bit liquidy, though. I'm gonna do a taste test. Um, that kind of tastes bad. <laughs> Wait, hang on, no. Okay, now I think I added a little bit too much water. So, hang on, let me just keep stirring it up. Because it's just a bit too liquidy. What do you think? Do you guys think that's like hummus consistency? No, right? It's definitely way too watery. Um, okay, okay, but when I ate it, it wasn't like bad. I mean, maybe if I add, I'm gonna try adding more chickpeas and tahini. It's definitely way too watery. I'm just gonna add some more chickpeas. Okie dokie, it's all done, my hummus. And honestly, like, it looks quite good, right? You guys think so? I think it looks yummy, like. Made it look like super cute. I'm gonna take. I know you guys may think I'm like so fucking weird for like eating hummus by itself, but like I have my braces on, so just leave me alone, okay? Not bad. Not bad. I would give it like a 7 out of 10. Definitely the Irwan hummus is better. But what can you do? What can you do? No, you know what? My hummus is better because I made it with love. I made it with lots and lots and lots of love.